Hello, uh, in this video we are going to learn how to use the indirect function in Excel. So here we have prepared three different examples to show you how to use the indirect function together with a few other uh, functions as well. So how indirect function works? Actually it is very basic. Indirect function only one, takes one uh, reference text. So if our reference text for example um, E8 then it's going to return us the value which is uh, staying in the E8 which is 528 for this case you see this is the E8 of our reference if we change it to for example if we want to ta take this 14 it is staying at D20 in our spreadsheet so if we write D20 here it should return 14 you see when we write it it just references here directly but if I write it like this it will not return because we have to write our reference texts in quotation marks so now you see it returns 14 from D20 reference so I just write my because the first example asks us to bring the reference by using indirect function, the reference is here, E8. It is going to be a dynamic one. I choose this and it turns 528. If I turn this, for example, if I want to print 15, for F20, I can write it here and it's going to change like this dynamically. Okay, in the second example, we are going to find the sum of each people's fruits so Julia has apples bananas and lemons and also the other people has these values we want to sum these up another function of indirect it can also take names in uh, the spreadsheet you if you know how to use the names uh, from the spreadsheet you will understand this easily for example for the first row this region has a name it is Julia's fruits and this region has a name, it's Robert's Fruits. We have defined this from previously, and we are now going to use indirect function to return the sum of these values. So this is a drop down box, and we can change the names defined. So if we write sum in indirect and select our dynamic name range this one it will sum the Nichols fruits like this you see the sum is 32 and if we for example change the Tom's fruits which is the name here you see the Tom's fruits it, it turns 27 which is the sum of our uh, fruits so as you see this indirect function can also use references as well as names defined in um, defined in the spreadsheet previously. So Nicole's Spreads is 32. This is okay. In the last example, we are going to use the indirect function again, and it asks us to bring the value of the selected reference by using and sign. So this is the k column, these are the row numbers, and the value at k, and this is a drop down. For example, you can change it to or whatever we want and we are going to write an indirect function here again but this time we need to combine k together with the value we have wrote here so k9 which is this one k9 in our spreadsheet brings up the value state here so if we change it to K10, it will bring the value accordingly. So this is how indirect function works. Of course, these are the not best, not best ways to make these calculations, but this is just the for illustration purposes for how to use uh, the indirect function. Okay, let's check our results now, and everything seems good. Thanks for watching, and in the last video of our advanced level, we are going to see how to use the array formulas. So keep following.